All right, let's take a look at these ladies out of the package. This is the one that I was most intrigued by because I love blue hair, number one, you know, because that's such a natural color. She's got a 2021 JP China head. She has a golden thing on her dress, which I don't know what that's for. It's hideous. And I'm going to have a wobbly camera because I had to really extend the uh, extension pole up. Um, the dress, that part, I don't know if I can remove it and save the dress. I'm um, not sure if I should. I mean, I like the head. I might put the head on a different body. These bodies are okay. They're very soft plastic as are almost like a rubber. Their legs, thankfully, do not bend. They're permanently straight. But let's see if they have a, they go out, they could splay this much. She can do a complete split. But it's leaning forward split because I can't get the back leg of any farther because her buttocks are in the way. Ironically, her panties are not painted, even though her legs are. She has molded on, let's see if I can get it to zoom in on this, design on her pantyhose, or whatever those things are called, leggings. And she's got these cute little <clears throat> shoes, and now her feet are, like, huge. Which gives me hope that these could be used for other, you know, huge-legged dolls or feet dolls. Um, I'm hoping these will fit Tuesday Taylor. I need to check them out. But this is one I would definitely keep. Just If I could just put her hair on a... It's not that her face is not pretty. It's just those little hearts are kind of like clownish. Who, who does that? I know. They're made for little kids, I guess. All right, this one. She's got some kind of little pom-pom ball things on her. I don't know what you call that thing. A tiara, I guess. She has mostly pink hair, but she has an undertow of blonde as well. Very yellow blonde. I'm just lemon... She's almost like pink lemonade is what I would call her. I guess if I gave it these names, I would give this girl, a, I don't know, pink lemonade. And I guess this girl would be sea girl or something or ocean girl, something like that. Now she's got this thing going on where it's Valentine's Day for her, but they also have these little white pom-pom balls, which I don't know. Is that supposed to be like candy land girl or something? And she's wearing tart hearts and coconut balls I, I don't know what the theme is <laughs> all right the leggings um this is gonna be a common legging except there's little hearts connected to the little dots going back and forth making an argyle pattern these boots are off the wall insane they're relatively hard to get off of her feet Oof. those feet are very strange oh, but they do have toes so her leggings i guess are not very thick or maybe that's her skin tattoo. Her face, if I can get it to focus well, has got some wide red lips and pretty blue eyes. All right, let's take a look at Miss Princess with some curly hair, a tiara. The tiara is a flower print, I guess, sort of. No, it's more like gemstones. The top reminds me of like something from Disney I've seen, like that little fold over thing. I almost want to say it's a Cinderella top. Now she has a mesh piece right here. It's like, oh good, the glitter's not really coming off of that Candyland looking dress. It's so lollipops and I don't know, just very Candyland looking. The shoes on her, really cute. Now the leggings on her are exactly the same. They got the blue hearts instead of the uh, other color, but it's the same thing as a heart. I figured that'd be like, she has candy, daisies. I don't know, there's too many different things going on with her so i think that whoever threw these together just <laughs> didn't have anything in mind now looking at her up close her cotton candy hair is absolutely beautiful it's got like a curl going on to it right here but it's straight at the top i love that face very beautiful face this top thing oops i wasn't trying to pull her <laughs> this top isn't really making sense to me it's like there we go. All right, so you just have to pull it down. I just didn't want to pull it all the way down. So the stitching went offline right there. That's what happened. It kind of gave it some more wiggle room to become whatever. Oh, I should look at their head marks on all of them. I did look at the first one. I just don't want her top to come down when I'm pulling her hair down or out of that. 2021. So they may all say 2021, which really won't help us. She's got this iridescent, you know, shiny, fish scale looking dress. No shoes, so it, it's like I can't tell if they're going for a theme here because 
I know it's a mermaid, but if she's wearing, if she's got her feet showing, she should either have shoes or she should continue the dress all the way down and close off the feet like a real mermaid, kind of giving that strong illusion. Otherwise, she looks like she's going to a ball, but she forgot her shoes. Like, you know, a costume ball. What do they call them? Fancy parties in England? Oh, so out of the package, we see that she has wings. So this is supposed to be like a fairy girl. I do like that purple in her hair. She's got two different colors of purple woven together. She's got a band around right here, which I won't really mess with right now. I like how the dress is off centered, but now I know it's attached to these wings, these uh, fairy wings. And she's got the cool little cowboy boots. She's also got glitter embedded in the plastic, which I think is really cool, honestly. It's not embedded in this. Oh no, it is, it's just fainter. So this is a different material, it's more rubbery. It's not as rubbery as the other ones it seems like, but there's a little bit of glitter in it, I think. It's more obvious in this because this is a harder plastic and I guess when it, I don't know. I've never had to make things like this. I was gonna try to take the boot off. They're very difficultly attached and there's a loud vehicle out there. So that's some of the details of the boots. All right, let's take a look at this lady. We got light fuchsia mixed in with some different shades of purple, it seems like. This dress, all right. Well, it's got this thing going up, which I know that's a style. And if I try to pull it down to make it come down and show you more of the gold, it's gonna show the backside, which is not pretty. So it's gonna to have to stay up in that position. Uh, there's also, this and this, this are the same material. It's just woven over with another belt. She's got the same leggings with the little hearts. This wind is about to blow stuff away. And these little shoes, which have little, um, looks like they're made out of chain, sort of. And I think they're exactly the same. Yeah, they are exactly the same. I ain't getting glitter on my hands. And now this one, she's got leggings that are printed on. You see, oh, I think she is the only one with these leggings. Yep, she is. I just looked at them more carefully. Now, let me look at the mermaid one more time. See if she has any leggings. No, but she does have glitter in her legs, so she's a lot like the other girl. So these two are very similar with their glitteriness going on. She has totally different leggings. She's got the same shoes, though, just different colors. The leggings, if you look at the... Let me see if I can get it to focus really well. Let me just do that. Zoom in on it. The detail in that, that's nice. The dress is okay again. I am not a dress expert. I'd rather have like, you know, I have a different style, obviously. I don't wear dresses. I did take a picture of like, if I was a woman, I'd wear this all the time. It was like a moo moo thing. Kind of like what Mrs. Roper wears. I'd be wearing that all the time. You could tell that she has glitter on her face. She does not even look human. She looks like she's Andorian. You know, Andorians have that blue glitter in their faces because they're supposed to be ice creatures, sort of. Yeah, and she has really interesting hair. Now, I think if these were going to be some kind of fairy tale, I think they're all going to be Rapunzel dolls. <laughs> they all look like Rapunzel because they all have long hair. Um, but with different kind of Rapunzel of the sea, Rapunzel of the air, I don't know. Just making this up as I go. So I just want to give a closer look at these without doing shorts because I feel like if I do shorts, I'll be rushing, rushing, rushing. I'll miss a lot of obviously cool things about these. So pick them up. Let me know if you got them. If you didn't, eh. If you're interested, I'm just curious how what you guys think.